Hi, guys. A pleasure Hi. being able to speak with you. And I hope you're feeling okay, Miguel. I heard about the nasty about COVID. COVID. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. If I usually don't sound this husky, I should really keep it. It's a, it's yeah. A, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good character <laughs> trait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I spent the summer reading uh, the books um, and I got to watch the first episode yesterday and really happy with what I've seen so far. Okay. Uh, I, I, I wanted to know uh, what, how you decided on, like th there, the books uh, cover three different perspectives most of the time um, and uh, you have to fill in the blanks with a lot of things. Um, how was uh, that uh, work for you to decide on where you wanted to go and what did uh, George think about your choices? I mean, in that way, it's, I think that's what makes it incredibly challenging adaptation, um, but also yeah. I think a very creative, creatively rewarding one because, uh, because of the way the book was written uh, as a- the fill in the blanks. Yeah, fake history, exactly. You're pa painting in the lines, I think. You know, George gives you the, the, the dots around the picture so you can, you can see the, the skeleton of the whole thing. Um, but he doesn't give you all of the details that you need to, to know how a certain thing was done or how a, a key decision was decided upon. Or they're even better because uh, the way the book is written, there are many conflicting accounts as to how that history happened. So that gives the, uh, the adapters a, a lot of leeway, uh, good leeway, I think, in terms of yeah. allowing them to um, decide what the objective truth was, the objective truth that we want to present the POV within this show. Yeah, so uh, I, I know uh, Game of Thrones people are obviously going to compare the, the two shows. They are very different and um, take place in completely different circumstances. Um, but I also know that uh, and George wanted the uh, Game of Thrones series to last for, for 10 seasons and it only lasted for eight. Um, did he have a number in mind for this show and are you going to try to honor that do do you feel like you have the same kind of vision this time around season wise um i i think that the the the, the uh, every, every story has a particular kind of length and you can feel when you're coming to the end of it um there this is a story which very much feels like a three-act structure um so you can interpret what you will from that um yeah. uh and uh Really, we just need to stay true to the story. That's the most important thing. Um, uh, uh, it is, it's the Titanic, right? You know, you know what's going to happen. It's just, are you going to have fun watching how it happens? So I think that the main thing was trying to uh, make sure that we're honouring the books and at the same time we are uh, um, uh, allowing for the evolution of it as it is turned into a television show, which is obviously a visual medium, uh, not a literary one. Yeah. And Miguel, you, you uh, directed some of the most exquisite Game of Thrones episodes and, and you direct this, the okay. first one of, of this show. And, and I know there's two more coming. Um, what did you learn uh, on the part, uh, previous show that, that the, uh, uh, made you be able to make this show even better with all the knowledge you, you had from before? Um, hmm. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> or, don't uh, don't spend uh, like uh, a year in, uh, in in night shoots either. Maybe. No, no, don't do that. Definitely don't do that. We avoided night shoots. We really made a concerted decision that there were going to be a minimal amount of night shoots on this particular one. Um, I, I I promised Miguel this was this show was interior day. That, yeah. was, that was how I convinced him to come along. Yeah, um, I think that I think the big thing is uh, that um, there's a lot to bring across from the original show into this one, but really is not to get too caught up in the old show and just to kind of enjoy this one for what it is. And we've been very careful to. Um, remain respectful of the old show and in that I think naturally it evolves into something else um, and that that's in practices as well that's just like the way you make the show we approached it from a similar vein um, 
and uh and and i think it i think it shows in the you know you've you've seen the pilot right i think in the yeah. pilot yeah. feels like game of thrones um, yeah it, it it does in a way yeah it's just different it's like this but just here yeah. oh excuse me yeah no worries um, uh, so we're, we're that that's uh, kind of the buzzer because we're actually out of time uh, but I, I really hope we we do get to speak again in a, in a few years now uh, with following seasons uh, so best of luck with the premiere and i hope everyone loves it thank you, thank you Jonathan. really appreciate it take care best of luck bye